Welcome, Mrs. Stavros reporting on the Sustainable Weight Loss Project. Today's video is on junk food, how to live with junk food. Notice, I didn't say how to eliminate junk food, okay, it's how to live with it, because the fact is this, junk food tastes way too good to give up. And if it was that easy to give up, with all the nutritionists telling us and fitness professionals that we should be getting rid of junk food from our diet, the junk food companies would be out of business by now. The fact is that we don't have to get rid of junk food in order to lose weight and get in shape. What we need to do instead is make it special. You see, the human body can tolerate some bad food once in a while. The reason junk food has such a negative effect on our, on our health is because we eat it all the time. That is the problem. So my suggestion to my clients is make junk food special. And what I mean by this is Monday through Friday, don't eat any junk food. On the weekends and special occasions, enjoy it. Nothing would happen to you if you eat it once in a while. Now, before I explain how to go about uh, cutting down and making junk food special, is let me define what is junk food. First, let me explain what is not junk food. Pizza is not junk food. French fries is not junk food. Fried food is not junk food. Okay, All those foods are high fat foods, but they still provide nutritional value. Okay. What I consider junk food is any food that provides no nutritional value or very little, like uh, chips, uh, even veggie chips, by the way, are junk food. Sodas, candy, sweets, cake, those things are junk food. Um, so, what the, the best way to cut down is Monday to Friday, start by counting how many times did you eat something that's considered junk food. So, let's say for argument's sake, the first uh, week you ate something that's considered junk food 15 times. Uh, the following week, Monday to Friday again, you want to uh, uh, have it less than 15 times. Okay, If you had it 14 times, that's great. You made progress. So each week, try to have a little bit less than the previous week. And that's how you slowly cut down. Now, the thing is, by allowing, you buy, by allowing yourself to have junk food on the weekends, it's easy to control yourself. Because let's say it's, it's Wednesday night and you're having a craving for some chocolate. Knowing that you can have the chocolate Friday night after 5 p.m., uh, that's part of the weekend, by the way, guilt-free, it's easier to control yourself than if you knew that you could never have chocolate again. Because again, it's in human nature to want what we can't have. So when you tell somebody you cannot have chocolate again, it's like telling them you want chocolate. The other advice I disagree with uh, fitness professionals is that they tell you that you should get rid of junk food from your house. I say wrong. Keep the junk food in your house. Don't try to control your environment. Learn to control yourself. Because let's say you get rid of the junk food from your house, okay? And you go to a friend's house or you go to work and a colleague brings junk food in. You haven't learned to control yourself. So what happens is you end up giving up, giving in actually, and then you're having a lot more than you would. And I can tell you from personal experience, I remember when I used to be all or nothing myself and I tried to get rid of junk food from my diet, I got rid of it from my house. But I used to go to my mother's house and she kept devil dogs and I didn't have just one devil dog, I had half of the box. And that's when I realized this is not working. And that's how I came up with a method of making them special. And that's how I've been teaching it to my clients with great success. So again, you don't need to get rid of junk food. You need to make junk food special. That is the best way to deal with junk food. And you'll find, by the way, even on the weekends, you're not going to have that much anyway. And slowly, you're going to end up having less and less and less. And if you end up giving up completely, that's fine. But again, you don't have to. Anyway. Thank you for watching, and if you uh, like my message, please share this video, and I would also love to hear your comments and suggestions for future videos. Thank you.